have multiple studies shown that countries treating COVID-19 with hydroxychloroquine suffer fewer deaths than those like the US where its use is restricted? No, that's not true, the claim was made without citing any such studies. Lead Stories has not found peer-reviewed clinical studies that declare hydroxychloroquine as a cure, and the World Health Organization has declared the opposite putting a stop to a multinational test of the drug when French and British researchers found it does not cut the mortality rate of hospitalized COVID-19 patients and may contribute to heart problems. The claim appeared in a video posted to YouTube on August 1, 2020, titled, Studies Show Countries Using Hydroxychloroquine Have Far Fewer COVID-19 Deaths, which opened, quote, While the media continues to slam the use of hydroxychloroquine, numerous studies have revealed countries that used the drug are doing much better than those that haven't. One America's Pearson Sharp has the details. End quote. Click below to watch the video on YouTube. This One America News video makes several claims that either cannot be substantiated or have been rejected by the U.S. Food and AMP, Drug Administration, the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control. Numerous studies claimed, but no citations or titles provided the video refers to numerous studies, but does not provide the author nor title of any specific study. Although Dr. David Nazarian of Los Angeles, California, is not interviewed on camera and the time and place of his comments is not provided by the narrator, the One America News video says, at time code 1 o'clock, that Nazarian says patients taking hydroxychloroquine are doing better than those who aren't. Board certified in internal medicine, Nazarian operates my concierge MD, Executive Health in Los Angeles, California. On his website, he says he has worked as an emergency room doctor, as a doctor providing medical service on movie production sites and as a hospitalist. As a medical student, his website says, he served a one-month rotation in 2008 in epidemiology, the study of how diseases spread. He lists one scholarly publication, a 2004 journal article about stroke medication. Lead Stories reached out to Nazarian by phone and email on August 3, 2020, to check the research and statements attributed to him. This story will be updated, if appropriate, when Nazarian replies. Describing Nazarian as having conducted a study, the One America News narrator says, quote, He points to countries in Africa where hydroxychloroquine is taken widely and prophylactically to protect against diseases like malaria. Incidentally, these countries have some of the lowest levels of coronavirus infections and deaths anywhere in the world. End quote. Here's the video segment containing the reference to Nazarian's research and analysis. Later in the video, the One America News narrator says, Doctors say, hydroxychloroquine could cure between 70% to 90% of the patients diagnosed with the disease and that a Yale University School of Public Health professor of epidemiology, Dr. Harvey Risch, agrees that it could easily save 100,000 Americans. Rish, who also holds a Ph.D., specializes in cancer research and has, according to Yale's website, published hundreds of scholarly articles, told lead stories in an August 3, 2020, email exchange that One America's video is somewhat approximate of what I said, at the end of a Laura Ingram episode. He appeared on the July 21 episode of The Ingram Angle, on which he said the preventive use of hydroxychloroquine for outpatients could save thousands of lives. He told Lead Stories, quote, What I did say is that if HCQ became immediately available and into use, some 50,000 to 100,000 lives could be saved. End quote. Though the One America News report does not refer to it, Rish told Lead Stories he has recently written a letter accepted for publication in the American Journal of Epidemiology taking issue with research into hydroxychloroquine. In it, he criticizes the study by which hydroxychloroquine was ruled out as a treatment for COVID-19 and calls attention to other clinical studies that say hydroxychloroquine will save COVID-19 patients. He discloses in his letter that he has done consulting work for two of the 50 manufacturers of hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin and doxycycline, but not on those drugs and not in the last two years and that he has not planned future work with those pharmaceutical companies. Such disclosures are not unusual in medical journals, as much research is underwritten by corporate sponsors.